Good morning, boys and girls. Children Liturgy, first week of Advent, welcome. And it's been a long time since we've seen you, but just be rest assured that we are back, not in person at the church, but we are back through this video. And we're so excited. We are now in the first week of our new church year. And it is year B, and we're starting our Advent season. The new year starts with Advent, and there's four weeks. And we've all seen this Advent week before. So let us begin with a prayer, little um, children's liturgy. Ages seven and up, we have a great few minutes that we can spend together to talk about getting ready for Jesus. So let's just light my candle here. And let us begin. Let us begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Children, liturgy, Students, I just welcome you back and want to invite you, maybe at home you have a Christmas wreath and with mom and dad's permission, um, you can maybe light one or make one for the first candle, which is hope, hope, getting ready for Jesus. So I'm just going to light it. And let us begin with the reading. And boys and girls, um, in the website, you will also see a Word document that Mom and Dad can maybe open for you. Um, and in there, there's a song, um, there is activities based on today's readings, there's a coloring sheet, and um, a craft. So let us begin with the first reading. First reading is from the prophet Isaiah. You, O God, are our creator. You have always been our redeemer, our savior. Why do you let us wander from your ways and allow our hearts to turn away from you? Oh, how we wish you could open the heavens and come down to us. You've already done mighty things for us, things beyond our hopes and dreams. No one has ever heard or seen any God, but you doing such things. You do wonderful things for those who trust in you. You want to find us doing that is right, following your ways, but you are angry with us because we are sinful. We have all done what is wrong. We are weak and we live in sinful ways. We don't pay attention to you and pray to you, and yet you are our creator. We are the clay and you are the potter. We've all been made by your hand. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. The song today, Come and stay with us, O Lord, holy is your name. Come and stay with us, O Lord, holy is your name. God in heaven, shine on us, you who are mighty, save us. Come and stay with us, O Lord, holy is your name. Come, our Savior, stay with us. Come and bring us back to you. Come and stay with us, O Lord, holy is your name. And the gospel, the gospel is from Mark. Stay awake, be ready, just like we said before. You do not know the hour when the Lord is coming. Stay awake, be ready, the Lord is coming. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is coming soon. The gospel is from Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, always be ready, stay awake. You do not know when the special time will come. Think about someone going on a long trip before leaving the owner of the house puts the servants in charge of everything and gives each one of them a special task. One servant is told to guard the door very carefully. Pay attention. You do not know when the owner of the house is coming back. It may be in the evening or at midnight or early in the morning. Do not let the owner come home suddenly and find you asleep. When I say to you, I say to everyone, pay attention, be ready. This is the good news of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So let's stay ready and be awake 
for the coming of Jesus. Hope. Have a wonderful week, and we'll talk to you soon.